What's up YouTube? This is Kevin aka Touring Around. Today we are going to be looking at the Star Wars The Black Series Emperor Palpatine with the throne chair. I recently got this on Amazon.ca. I don't believe it's out currently in the United States. So let's get to opening this box and a quick review. Real quick here on the box, it says, Scheming, powerful, and evil to the core, Darth Sidious restored the Sith and destroyed the Jedi Order. He slowly manipulated the political system of the Galactic Republic until he was named Supreme Chancellor, and eventually Emperor, ruling the galaxy through fear and tyranny. Then you have some new box art over here. And sides of the box, no number. So as you can see here, here are all the accessories. He comes with an additional set of force lightning hands that swap out. Really cool detail in there. Uh, transitioning from the finger to the lightning. You get his cane slash walking stick. Two additional heads. Palpatine as you can see here. And of course the sweet throne that is the main draw of this set. Now I've heard some complaints about the price tag of this set, but getting this throne is worth the additional money on its own, not to mention the extra heads and the lightning hands and a brand new updated Palpatine. Um, as you can see here, there's a lot of little details here and colors on the chair. It rotates at the bottom, although it that provides serves no function and it's definitely the main draw of this set so real quick here's the robe it's a really nice and smooth fabric you can see here it uh, looks nice in the light for your photography the hood comes down over the face you can give it that nice uh, overhanging shadow over his face uh, a little wire would have been nice but it actually works really well it doesn't sit back at all, and there's one little clasp here that holds it together. I believe it's sewn on. And the arm sleeves are not just straight cut. They actually have a little pointy point, a pointy point at the end. I'm not sure if anyone buying this figure would worry about the articulation, but just in case, I did take the robe off. It reveals this all-black outfit underneath. Uh, the head goes this far up. This far down, 360 obviously, there's no neck joint, shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. Uh, on the left hand you have this half open pointing hand, and on the right hand is for holding the cane. Uh, there's a, actually a plastic molded belt here. There's a hip, hip joint. Uh, there's the pelvic joint here. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing this. He's just going to be sitting in a chair. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee. It's like your basic Black Series body underneath. But it's pretty cool that it has this uh, soft goods skirt piece underneath. So let's get this robe back on. So first up is the uh, No Emotions Palpatine face. This is the one that comes right out of the box that's on your figure. Um, it's got a lot of little details here, all the wrinkles, whatever you want to call it. They're all painted pretty well. There's a lot of different uh, different colors to bring out the detail as well. The second head has a little bit more emotion. He's kind of gritting his teeth together. You can see his teeth uh, showing through. They're kind of grimy looking, and it's also really well done. Let's see what it looks like under the hood. And that is money. Last but not least, you have the grinning, smirking face for Palpatine. Uh, you know, he's a scheming, devious kind of guy, so this is a really nice expression that you get for this figure. And when you put the hood on him for this... That is... This is just a great figure, man. And here he is in the throne. I think overall he fits really well in there. Um, I always got the impression that it was really low to the ground. He kind of slouched in his seat a little bit. So this uh, this is actually captured really well with this piece. 
Here you can see Palpatine in his throne with a original Black Series Darth Vader, the one with the removable helmet, and Tarkin, and, and Imperial Guard in the background there. Um, honestly, they fit really well together. So here it is next to a Imperial Guard Black Series and also a Black Series Darth Vader. Here it is next to a SH Figuars Rogue One Stormtrooper and a SHF Anakin Skywalker. Here next to a Black Series Death Trooper and Grand Moff Tarkin. And as it turns out, I had the original Emperor Palpatine. I was going to take it out, do a side-by-side -side comparison. However, I didn't realize that mine was brand new unopened. Now that I have the one on the left, I will likely be selling this one, Mint on Card. Um, the cane accessory appears to be the same. The two hands that it comes with appears to be in the same position. The cloak looks very similar. Another reason to upgrade to this figure from the original Emperor Palpatine is the lightning hands that he comes with. Uh, the original one didn't have it. People had to use maybe the electricity hands from the Marvel Legends Electro. But however, this one is really done well. It has translucent hands that transition into the electricity and you can get a lot of really cool uh, different scenes with this so overall I would give us Yoda or of doing the uh, uh, highly recommend this unlimited power figure. it would be the centerpiece of anybody's Star Wars Black Series uh, Empire display or setup for their collection if you, even if you have the original I would recommend upgrading because of the additional accessories you get, the lightning hands, uh, the two extra profiles for the figure, and obviously the main attraction is the throne, so it just makes this an easy upgrade. There isn't much articulation that you need for this figure, and it makes sense. He's either an old man walking slowly or sitting in a chair. Um, one thing that I did wish that it had is that back wall in the throne room that uh, the SHF actually comes with and I'm much too lazy to do the version that my buddy Budget Jedi created with the bottom of a laundry basket. So what do you think of this Palpatine figure and will you be adding it to your collection? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, give me a like if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and as always keep toying around. Thank you for watching.